Now, it's been another tough week for Eric Ten Hag in Manchester United. And you know what? It threatens to get even worse with a trip to Anfield for the live Super Sunday match, part two of our double header. Remember, they lost 3 0 against Bournemouth, then 1 0 against Bayern Munich. Both of those at home, both of those without scoring. Bottom of the Champions League, group out of Europe. Well, Peter Stevenson was speaking to Eric Ten Hag a little earlier on. He joins us live right now. Um, good afternoon to you, Peter. How would you assess Eric Ten Hag's mood? Uh, when his position is constantly under scrutiny and once again under scrutiny after two home defeats. Yeah, good afternoon. It's been a pretty torrid week, hasn't it, for the United boss, as you say, two disappointing and frustrating results and performances out of Europe and, and starting to slip behind as well in the battle for fourth place. But uh, I have to say, today uh, in his news conference, we saw Eric Ten Hag, if you like, digging in, focused, committed, uh, totally determined to push ahead with what he calls the process, uh, determined not to be knocked off course by uh, a couple of uh, results that haven't gone his way. Uh, and really um, displaying, I think, total belief in his players, um, whoever manages to be fit and available for Sunday at Anfield, uh, really conv convinced that they have the ability to go out and get a result. And, you know, even more convinced after all the speculation this week that he does have the backing of the club's current hierarchy. I, I feel that, yeah, and they tell it against me. Uh, but, um, so, but actually, uh, and, and that's fine, and that's OK, but um, I'm focusing on the process. I'm focusing on to, to make this team play better. I'm focusing on make the individuals better. And that's, that's my concern. And that is uh, that's all what I'm doing, focusing on the right thing, and that is uh, the team. So you can't get distracted by concern about your job or whatever, or whether you, know, you might lose your job? No, but that, uh, uh, that is, there's no concern. Uh, because uh, I'm here to win and I have to make the team play better. Um, and if you play good, even then, then I say good is not good enough. And so now we, have, um, we are inconsistent. So yeah, I have to work on that the team is going to uh, play uh, in a longer uh, for longer periods in a higher level. Can you give the Dutch, Dutch people a, a good Christmas message that you don't depend on the, the job against Liverpool about your position? Can you promise them you will be here still? So I'm not concerned about that. And uh, I want to win. And uh, I want to win with my team. I want to uh, progress the team in the right direction. And yeah, so we are, are here in a project. And uh, last season, uh, we were absolutely in the right direction. And the project now we haven't uh, met the standards we expect uh, to have, that's the truth, but uh, still we are in the project and so we have, we have a setback, but we still can everything, everything winning in this season and on the longer term definitely, because uh, the future for Man United I think is very good if you see um, how many good players we have in this squad, uh, how many good young players we have in this squad and who have a really high potential uh, for, uh, uh, to play top levels uh, worldwide. And, but we have to develop that. And so I'm sure when the injury is getting back, uh, that this team will perform better. Peter, you'll know it's no win in eight trips to Anfield in all competitions. Of course, their last trip was a 7-0 demolition for Liverpool against United. Is that going to be playing at all on Eric Ten Hag's mind going into the game in a couple of days' time? Well, you would imagine he would want to put any memory of that 7-0 defeat firmly to the back of his mind. He did say today, you know, we cannot affect anything in the past. We have to focus on the future. But let's make no mistake about it. Anfield on Sunday will be absolutely rocking. It'll be the biggest crowd there for 50 years, around 57,000 because of the partial reopening of the, the new Anfield road end. So it will be that cauldron. It's not just a big game in English football. This is one of the biggest games in world football. And uh, they have to go there. United, they have to show some composure, probably a bit of aggression as well, some confidence, some passion, all sorts of qualities they have to uh, display on uh, on Sunday, and qualities really that have been sadly lacking in the last couple of games. This is how we look forward to that really tough challenge at Anfield. I think everyone knows, I think everyone is highly motivated when you go to Anfield. Uh, it's, uh, 
it's a great place to go. And you know it's going to be tough. Um, and I think that is everything, what every uh, top footballer wants. Uh, he wants to have that challenge. So uh, you have to look forward. And you know, last year, yeah, of course, we take that um, in our memory. Uh, but you have to also um, uh, take the benefit from it, learn from it. And uh, on Sunday, uh, we can prove that. Are you a manager who's starting to worry <laughs> with, with the injuries and with the, the trip to a team like Liverpool? Are you, are you worried? No. And that we will put out a team uh, who, who can challenge, uh, a team who is confident to win that game. And yeah, so um, yeah, we're preparing the team in the best way we can. And, and we are confident that we put out a team who can win there. One thing's for sure, I think Sunday's game is going to be a big test of the depths of the respective squads. Liverpool around half a dozen players missing, although they obviously managed to rest some players last night. United around a dozen players either out or doubtful, but he did give us a little bit of definite team news today. Uh, Maguire definitely out, though. So too is Martial, but he's welcoming back Marcus Rashford and Luke Shaw, and you sense he'll need all the big, experienced players he can get on Sunday, because Anfield will be no place for the faint-hearted.